Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be explaining my strategy, uh, known as the order block strategy. I placed a trade according to the strategy and I did a f full video breakdown on it um, uh, in my last video. So make sure you go and see that before you go and watch this video. Um, however, I did actually place a trade. They are in basically drawdown. They, I just opened these trades um, according to the strategy. And I'm going to let it run throughout this video while I film it. And we will see the progress um, of how like how far they are in profit when I uh, by the time I finish editing I I mean finish maybe even finish editing yeah um, okay so first of all I made a little document explaining this strategy and I'm gonna put like a downloadable link in the description so make sure you go and download that if you want to like uh, find out about the strategy and like do your own research and stuff. Um, also another thing what else did i do i um i found this course um from this very very good youtube channel i'm gonna put that link in the description and they explain this video i mean the strategy very very well i'm going to um i will i they have a telegram group i'm gonna have to like shout them out and stuff because i don't want to get in trouble for using their stuff so I'll put their like Telegram group, I'll put their YouTube channel, I'll put their video where they explain everything in the description. It's, it is actually a very, very good video. We might come to this as reference when I'm explaining the, the, the thing, the strategy. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through this. And then after every like main point, I'm going to go onto the chart and I'm going to find an example where that happens. Uh, okay, so let's start. Okay, it says, order blocks are areas where smart money is buying and selling prior to a large impulse just as simple as okay smart money is selling at this point prior to this large impulse that's like that's uh, as simple as that so far uh the reason why we trade order blocks is because smart money move um, uh, make a move in the market to grab liquidity from the retail traders stop losses now it gets a bit more complex okay so it when like from just uh, skimming over this like scenario what i see is i see is a market that is consolidating in a uh, support and resistance i mean re yeah support and resistance and we have had a breakout and then we we have a large impulse that breaks structure right so this move right here is our order block why because at this point right here let me just delete okay so at this point right here there's going to be a lot of buyers that are going to be targeting the area of resistance and their stop losses are going to be very tight somewhere here through this move down smart money stops those traders out and makes their trades hit stop loss because they are grabbing liquidity they are triggering them into their trades and straight away just saying their stop losses so they're out of the game straight away the buyers the sellers they don't have faith in this uh support zone they think there's going to be a breakout they are right in the short term, but not in the long term, because what they're expecting is a break, perhaps a retest and then a continuation downwards. That doesn't happen. Um, so they're going to they're going to have their sell stop uh, orders uh, here with their take profits all the way down here and their stop losses up here. Through this move down, smart money triggers them into their orders. But it, as soon as they are in like a couple of pips in profit. I mean, it depends what time frame. There's a like, there's not one minute time frame, so it's not gonna be a couple of pips. It's gonna be decent profit, but they're not gonna hit their take profit. Is what I'm trying to say. It's gonna move against them, and they, it's gonna hit their stop loss. So both of the buyers and the sellers are gonna be stopped out when we see this order block scenario form. This like zone right, this like this whole movement right here is what we call a stop hunt. So if you want to go and do your own research, then uh, that might be useful to know. So yeah, it's called stop hunts. So smart money drive price to grab the, this liquidity before making their des desired move. However, because smart money doesn't have stop losses, um, when they have make, made their move, they have a trade that is going in the opposite direction in heavy drawdown. What do I mean by that? So because smart money has access to huge amounts of capital that retail traders don't, they're gonna enter a whole lot of sell orders at this point right here and that's going to move the market down and, and grab that liquidity that they want to do. So that's they've they've achieved their purpose of grabbing liquidity, but in that, they've they've opened a trade that at this point is going to be in heavy drawdown because market is going to move against them. This this move this move downwards this grab of liquidity is only a grab of liquidity. It isn't 
um, a long move down that it's not going to continue going down. If so, if that happened, well then yeah, these trades that they've opened at this point is going to be are going to be in profit and that's good. But trades they when they open these it goes down for a bit because they have the uh, um the power to move the market but then it goes against them so at this point those trades those sell orders that they've placed at this point are going to be in heavy drawdown at this point so what they do is they want to mitigate their losses so they bring the market back down to that point and close those trades that either break even or a little bit in profit or a small loss but it's going to be within this zone of the candle of i mean the breakout from a uh, previous structure so within this zone right here we're going to see the market return to that zone and then continue the move upwards. So how are we going to trade alongside uh, smart money? They don't. Okay, we've explained that. They are, okay, so they drive price back to mitigate their losses and continue the move. This is where we come in with our strategy. We look to enter this mitigation and follow price with them. Exactly. So let me delete all of this. We enter smart money. I mean, we enter the trade, the buy, um, buy order at this point. The fifty percent. Some people enter at the zero, or some people enter at the one. Uh, it's just preference. The pros and cons of entering at the fifty. Um, um, it's I mean it's it's less likely to trigger than if you enter at the one. But if it does trigger, you're gonna get a better risk to reward. Um, so yeah, that's that. If you're if you just want to get triggered in, then just enter at the one. Uh, but I I like to enter at the zero point five level of the Fibonacci because I get better risk to rewards. And by the way, I didn't explain the risk to rewards part. For these strategies, you can you can for this for these strategies you can get insane risk to rewards. Like you can get one to fifty risk to rewards with like a ten pip stop loss. That's not unheard of. In fact, that's average for the strategy. You don't find those kind of like you don't find more than a one to five risk to rewards using a retail strategy. So this strategy is like smart money concepts as a whole are insane, but this strategy specifically is very very good. Um, because you can get very very tight risk to rewards and small stop losses so this is just like a draw a draw up a markup of me using just just a pen tool on, on trading view so i'm actually going to go on like a real life example right here and then we're going to do a little breakdown so it's very similar to the old one in in the way that we have like a zone of support and resistance let's just go here and mark up our zone of support and resistance okay so we have um, a very rough zone of support, this being the support and the trend line being the resistance. Support comes down, doesn't test it like exactly, comes down again, um, does a lot of waffling, retouches the support. That consolidates it as a level of support, especially when we look back and we see that the market tests it up as resistance. So, so respects it as resistance at this point and then becomes support. We can definitely be looking at this, this black tile zone that says break of structure by the way bos stands for break of structure um um as an area of support what the market does is it breaks out uh, of that level of support right here right and grabs the liquidity so it's the same way that in here it breaks out from here so let me just get rid of that the market breaks out of that level of support and grabs the liquidity same thing here market breaks out of that level of support and grabs liquidity this is smart money grabbing liquidity there's going to be a lot of buy orders that were looking uh, to target maybe perhaps up here with their stop losses placed down here they probably would have lined up with here exactly like this previous low they've been stopped out then there's going to be a lot of sell orders that are triggered that have their stop um that have their like orders placed here because they're not gonna they they want to see the breakout first before they enter their trades so then they're not gonna enter right at that the the support zone they're gonna wait for the breakout and then they're gonna have their sell stop orders placed here those trades are gonna be triggered in by this move and then they're gonna hit their stop loss so both of this the buyers and the sellers in this case have been stopped out of their trades so this is the stop hunt I was talking about right then what does then what does smart money do smart money moves the market up breaks this previous structure it's not a, as clear of a break of structure as this but it is still a break of structure because we don't see equal highs be made uh, if it was like equal highs we'd have to see the market just just touch that black line and not move above it in any way shape or form but the market does move above it um and then what we see is we see the market move back down what is this move this is smart money mitigating their losses pushing the price back down to this level so that they can close the trades 
that they've opened, the sell trades that they've opened here are break even or in profit. In this case, it's probably be in profit. So yeah, um, and then what we, so smart money brings price back to this level. Then what we do is we trade alongside smart money. We make our stop losses very tight. And this is what I was talking about. Stop losses can be very tight when we're trading this strategy. This is probably a very, very small, it's a two hour time frame. So just looking at it, it's probably like a 10 pip stop loss, maybe 15 pips, um, which is great. You don't find that in retail strategies. Um, so I, I, so as I say, I, I opened my trade at the 0 0.5 line of the Fibonacci and I put my stop loss at the zero and it, it was like a perfect trade, touched it, bounces off straight, um, in that direction. So yeah, it's a very, very, uh, lethal strategy if you get used to it. And this is the strategy that I used for this trade right here that I entered, that I showed at the beginning of the video. Um, what we had was a break of structure. So we had, this is the order block. So we had a break of structure from here um so we had a break of structure from like a level of of resistance if you like here a grab of liquidity stopping other buyers and the sellers then we had a break of structure from all of these previous uh lows so this is the break of structure then we saw the market oh no i didn't mean to do that then we saw the market um return all the way back up to the level of the order block and now the market is going to keep going down i think that this trade is still in drawdown um, but I'll do an update by the time I finish editing um, to see where this trade is at. I didn't actually enter it here because I didn't see it. If I had done, I'd be in profit, heavy profit right now. But um, we, we learn, you know, um, we carry on. Um, um, I entered actually quite late, somewhere down here. Um, that's why I'm in drawdown. Um, so, yeah, if I had entered here, that just shows you it's not the strategy. It's just me being dumb and not entering early. Why did I do that? It's just me not entering at this point right here. Let me just get rid of these. It's just me not entering at this point. If I had entered at this point, I'd be in profit 20 pips right now. But I'm in a loss because I just entered late. So, yeah, make sure you keep your eyes out for those order blocks. Um, it's a very, very lethal strategy. Uh, also, make sure you check the description if you want to see the this exact um, this little thing that I made, this document. Uh, and if you want to see the 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 course so thank you for watching uh, i'll see you in the next video which will probably be um not soon because we have online school now and i probably won't have time so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye uh just a quick update on that trade that i placed the gpc uh, see uh, the gp cat trade that I, I placed you can see that during while I was filming the videos and drawdown, I just closed it out now. I've just finished editing the video for £490 profit. I'll put a screenshot up, I'll put a video up, everything, so you can see. So, yeah, you can see that the despite me uh, uh, opening the trade late, I managed to catch a great amount of pips. And I, I wasn't even over leveraging my account, I used a one lot size. So, yeah, uh, the, pos the possibilities are endless with this uh, strategy. So yeah, make sure you go and check that link in the description because it has a lot of good. Uh, I I've play I've put in the video from Vertex Investing, which is actually very good. The course, the link, everything's there. So make sure you go and take a look at that.